Good morning everybody and welcome back to Inglorious Fishing. My name's Danny, we're on the boat, that only means one thing, we're going to head out and we're going to go and drift a few sandbanks for some turbot, brill and bass. Now I'm not quite sure where we're going to go yet, whether we're going to head to an island called Sark Island or whether we're going to head up north and go to Aldney to the Casket Sandbanks. I'll know more once I head out the harbour, we'll have a look at the sea conditions. Hopefully we're going to get a few today. The tide is a little bit strong but it is backing off so we should be all right and we shouldn't be drifting at a ridiculous speed we can get a few of these flatfish so i hope you're going to enjoy it i'll give you a run through of all the tips and tactics and hopefully we can get a few till then let's start making our way out there be a short journey up there and we'll start getting on to these fish let's get them everybody I've just popped up to a little mark just on the way up to the sandbanks there's a little bit of a chopper out there I hope we're going to be okay up there I don't want to waste all the fuel going up there and it's going to be too rough to fish so we have to just bear that in mind there is quite a bit of swell and when you're up there it could be manic so I'm just after a few mackerel just see if we can get a bit of bait and hopefully be able to go up there and get some fish. Fish on. Oh, we got two. Nice. Right, that's a bit of bait. Hopefully we can get a couple more if there's a couple more down there. A few more mackerel like that, then we can start making our way up there. Just that way we've got turbot bait. Rather than going up there without no bait, you want to go up there really. Bit of bait. Come on the mackerel. Sharp. On there. Bit of a shoal underneath us, so quick get back down. We'll get a few more. Then we're gonna be starting to make our way to the turbot ground. There is definitely still markings under us. Oh straight through them. Definitely something down there, fish wise. Come on. Well, we definitely had a little shoal come through. Three mackerel now. Still do with a few more, really. Well, everyone, I was just trawling with my feathers and I forgot to strap the rod down. We've just lost a rod and a 110 pound reel. So, uh, great going in, glorious. We're gonna head up to the uh, sandbank and hopefully we get a few turbot. I've got two rods. One of the reels ain't too good, but hopefully we can get something. Let's go. Well everybody, we have arrived up here. I've got two rods out. I can't believe that rod went overboard, my feather rod. It's got a brand new pen, Squall 20 on as well. They don't even make them. I just bought it off someone. So uh, absolutely gutted with that, but we're not gonna let that get us down. There is a big swell here. There are some big overfalls. I do not know if we're gonna be able to go over the overfalls. Uh, I don't know how bad they're gonna be. We'll see when we approach them, but yeah, they are not looking too healthy. So. Uh, yeah, we'll try and do something here. If not, we'll go onto the crab pots later on, see what we got there. But hopefully, we can get a fish here. Let's get them. Well, everyone, I've just dropped this one down. And I have some severe weight on it. I only just got the second rod down. Might be seaweed or something. Just kept ripping out line, I was wondering what was going on. I do apologise for that other rod going. What is this? It's a bit of seaweed. A bit of seaweed. I 
Damn it, I thought that was a turbo. Right. As you can see, we're in the overfalls. They've calmed down a bit from what they were earlier, so I don't mind coming through here. Before we were having to stop, and then uh, stop right where the overfall started and then go back up again. But these aren't too bad, so you've just gotta watch yourself and uh, just hope nothing happens. So we'll just keep an eye on this and hopefully one of these rods go off. I've already had one tote bang me off. Nightmare, absolute nightmare. I had him on for about 10, 15 seconds. He completely snapped my rig off. Oh, there goes the rod. Hopefully, I'll start getting a turbot. Well, everyone, I've literally only just dropped this on the bottom. Well, I've got a fish on already. And I don't know what it is. Give me a few head bangs. I reckon it's a taupe. I've only just got it down. I've literally only just put it down. I'd love it to be a turbot. How, what is this? This is a big fish. Yeah, it's got to be a tope. It's trying to take line. It is taking line. Come on. Stay on. It's got to be a tope. This is a big fish. Oh, this is a big ray. Could be a big ray. It's coming. Come on. This is big. We're on slackish water. Okay. Here we go in the butt there's a big bend here and there's definitely a fish this ain't no uh seaweed just hope i can keep it on i've only just dropped this down this is a big turbot gee whiz it's not fighting like a taupe i'd say it was more like a ray it's coming up now oh no oh 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 can't see it. I'm trying to keep it away from my other oh. Gee whiz, what is this? This could be a taupe. I don't know. I'll let you know. It only just hit the bottom. I'm going to bully it a bit. Be a taupe. That's a turbot, Jesus. No way. What is that? Come on. It's under the boat. What is that? Oh, it's, it's a ray. It's a big blonde ray. Oh, oh no. Oh, I nearly lost it. It's a big blonde ray. Right, he's untangled himself. I said it could be a blonde. He's, that's just hit the bottom, that. Come on. I'm struggling here, guys. Oh, he's well up. And in the back. Sorry I didn't get that on camera. Nice ray that, woo! Well, I'm just gonna get this other rod down. Nice ray, that had only touched the bottom. 
what happened was he was tangled. That's a nice big ray, that. Woo. Beautiful, beautiful hookup. The runs weren't big enough for a turp, for a tope. Check that out. Beautiful male blonde ray, that. Lovely, lovely hookup. Just give you a show of the hookup. No wonder he didn't come off. Check that out for a hookup. Straight in the trap. So the tide's just gone slack. We're gonna be keeping this ray, because Graham will love that. Gran absolutely loves Ray. I just dropped that on the bottom. A little bit of mackerel for that. I was just getting this second rod down and it went straight away. That's a nice big Ray, that fantastic. Beautiful to get that on the rod. As I said, it's slack water now, so the tide is just starting to turn. So that's the reason why we haven't got no, um, why we have no, no big overfall, so. Sorry, I'm just taking a moment to compose myself because I'm out of breath. Fantastic fight. Right, I'm going to get him off the hook and give you a better show. Guys, I'm not sure, but this rod just went down. I'm just going to check it. Yeah, fish on. I knew I seen the rod going. Yeah, fish on, guys. Slap water and it's all kicking off. I don't know what, this just might be a dogfish. Fantastic, into another fish. Those overfalls have stopped. We've got a ray on the deck we've just had. Probably a dogfish this. Small turbot, you beauty, target acquired as well. Fantastic. Lovely little turbot, you beauty. Oh, I love it, Ray and a turbot on the same drift. Let's get back up there, see if we get some more. Well, everyone, we're back up for another drift. I've just got both rods down and by hell. That, there. It's some slab of a ray. That is a beauty, that one. That's got to be near 20 pound, that. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. So we're going to keep it down there. Green, Grant's going to have him. In fact, well, Grant does love ray wings, see? That's her favourite, ray wings. So. Yeah, we'll give it a Grant. Grant will love it. So uh, yeah, got the rods out. Hopefully we get a few more. What a fantastic fish though. So everyone, we're back up for another drift after catching that turbot and that ray. Fantastic, at least we've caught something now. I've run out of bait, so what I'm doing is I've got a set of sabiki feathers down. We're gonna get them down and hopefully try and get a few sandy or something like that. Maybe a few mackerel, just to try and help us along a bit. So uh, yeah, bring you back. Let's we'll start getting some more fish. Yeah, got fish on the sabikis. Feels like mackerel, it could be a green. Uh, two mackerel, beautiful. Just want to try and get a little, ow! It's the only problem with those sabiki hooks, they're so small. If I could just try and get a little bit of mackerel, just to see us through the fishing session, we're not going to be up here much longer. We'll try and get a couple more and that should be enough. Don't want to take anything that we don't need, so getting back down and see if we can get a few more. Fine mackerel though, beautiful mackerel. See if we get a couple more. I'm just gonna pull the rod that side. Let's 
get some more. The tide is just starting to turn. I'll give you a run through of the setup and stuff like that um, in a little while. Just going to try and catch the fish while we can on this slack water. There's the overfalls approaching again. Just give you a run through of the rods. I'm using the Pen Squall 220 leather wind. Perfect, perfect reel for turbot fishing, that sort of thing. I'm using the Ugly Stick GX2s and they're a 20 to 30 pound class rod, guys. All I'm using is a running ledger system, so it's uh, just an 8 inch boom to a bead, then to a 250 pound break and strain swivel, down to a 6 0 hook. So, uh, yeah, mackerel fillet on the end, fantastic. Lovely, lovely big ray on the deck there. Nice little turbot. Hopefully, you get a few more of those. Okay, everyone, this is going to be the final drift. Do apologise, the sun is beaming right on me. Uh, oh, hold up. Fish on. Fish on, God, fish on. Fish on as we're on the road to you. Yes, fish on. Just a little speaking on the camera. Please don't be some seaweed. Please be a flatty. I thought I'd just come up for one last drift. We're hoping it's a turbot. More than likely, no, my lot, a bit of seaweed because it's not fighting that well. Just coming through the overfalls now. Probably going to be seaweed this. some weight Could be a turbot right before the overfalls no nope, and it's seaweed like I said damn it big clump of seaweed it didn't feel turbity right I'm gonna get it back down and this is our last drift as I said so hopefully you can pick up something before we start making our way home Okay, that final drift and I've got something on. Whether it's seaweed or a fish, I don't know. All I know is that there's weight there. More than likely, seaweed, my luck. We've had a great little trip up here though. Not the best, it was very rough up here at the start. Well, it hasn't turned out too bad now. This has got to be seaweed or something small. Go on, be a fish. Had a lot of line out guys, a lot of line. Couldn't wait. And it's a bit of seaweed. Right, well that ain't going back out. And that just tops the session off. Another clump of seaweed. We've had a few of them today. Not good. Right, I'm going to pack this rod up. We'll leave this rod out for another five minutes and hopefully something drops on it. Okay, everyone, that's both rods in. I'll give you a show of the raid once we get home and start making our way there. Okay everybody, we've arrived safely back outside of port. What I'm gonna do is, just for the last half hour, we're just gonna pull our crab pots around here, just to see if we got any lobsters or crabs or spider crabs, maybe the odd crayfish, you never know. So uh, let's get straight on to him, see what we've got. Okay. 
Right. First spring. See if we've got anything uh, worthwhile with these. So first string's on its way up. I love lobster and crab fish and it's just not knowing what you're gonna catch. So uh, hopefully we get a few lobsters. Absolutely nothing. Bet your bottom dollar this is gonna have nothing in as well. Small tiny spider crabs. That's it. One female. And a little male. Right, I'm gonna bake these up, we'll play these out, we'll get onto that second set. Okay, first set's away. Have a look if we got anything in this string. Second string. More than likely not. Lobster. I don't know if that's going to be in size. I don't think so. There is a lobster. I'll tell you what, it'll be close. Nothing in the second pot. Fantastic. Well, at least we have one little lobster. That's it. Right. Check it for gauge. Now, to measure a lobster, it's this gauge here. Our limit is 87.5 mil, and you do it from the back of the eye socket to the back of the carapace. And he's out by about two millimetres. Yeah, two mil. He's out. See if we can get another. Let's go. Let's get on to number three. Okay, number three. Hopefully you get a lobster that's in size. Now I know I always say it, but when you're doing crab pots, please, please, please watch the rope, because that is the danger area. A couple of small brown crabs in the first pot. Not very good. See what the second pot brings us. Just if your leg gets wrapped around that, you ain't coming back. You'll go straight to the bottom of the ocean and there's no one in the near vicinity that's going to be able to help you in like 10 seconds, 20 seconds till you drown. So just be very, very careful. No lobster is worth losing your life over or crab. Just remember that. Very, very poor. I'm gonna have to move these. Not very good. Nothing to show you. We'll bake these up, play them back, we'll get on to the next one. Fourth set. Give us a lobster. 
Number four. Absolutely nothing. Not very good so far on the crab front. Couple of small lobsters in here. Nothing that's going to be sizable. That might be sizable. That definitely won't. So I'm going to chuck him back. He's got no claws though. Yeah. He's in size, it's a telephone. Let's keep him. The old telephone. Right. One keeper. Chuck these out and get onto that next set. Beautiful. Let's get onto the last one round here. Okay, number five, see what we got. Been a great trip out there on the Ray and the Turbot. Unfortunately, we didn't get more, but it was fairly rough up there, especially at the start. I couldn't even go into the overfall. So we were lucky we had anything really, so I'm happy with that. Nothing. Probably bet your bottom dollar, the second one's got nothing. Nothing. Very surprising. No, I don't get anything. Okay. Let's get in out. Okay. And that's that one out. Not very good one telephone. We're gonna start making our way in now. Let's go. That ray weighs 16 pound guys, so not the 20 pound that I thought it was, but still 16 pound ray is a lovely fish. So hope you enjoyed this content and we'll catch you on the next one. It's Danny. See you next time guys. Thanks for watching.